Welcome back boys and girls. Since we're going to be learning about strawberries this week, I thought it would be a great idea to draw you a diagram of a strawberry plant. So, the first letter in the word strawberry is S. It's just the first letter, letter S. It makes the sound strawberry. Okay, so we're going to begin by drawing one of the most important parts of the plant, the roots. Through the roots, the plant is able to absorb nutrients from the soil, oxygen from the soil, and as well as water. The roots also help anchor the plant into the soil. So think of it as you're on a boat and the sea is really, 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 really shifty and there's high currents and the waves are rocking everywhere and you want your boat to stay still, you drop an anchor so your boat doesn't move. Same thing for a plant. The roots are the anchors. It keeps the plant held snug tight into the ground. Oh, here we go. I'm going to draw the roots of the plant. So my particular roots are very large for my strawberry plant. Here we go. And there are roots. I'm going to label the root. R O O. T S roots. So next, an interesting part to a strawberry plant, it's called a crown. Out of the crown is where new shoots form for leaves, as well as the flowers come out for the strawberry plants. So here we go. Here is my crown of my strawberry. Boom. So super important about a strawberry crown is if you're going to plant a strawberry plant into a garden or a container, it's very important not to bury the crown because if you bury the crown of the plant, you will not have new leaves that form, neither will you have strawberries. I'm gonna label it now crown. C-R-O-W-N, the crown. Next, we are going to draw the leaves. Now, the leaves are also very important for a strawberry plant because the leaves is actually what sucks up the nutrients from the sun. It's a process called photosynthesis. Basically, for you guys to understand, the leaves suck up energy and vitamins from the sun and they provide it to the plant so the plant can grow. No sun, no nutrients, no growth for your plants. So let's begin by drawing a few leaves. Just gonna draw a couple for you guys. And then I'll show you the finished picture. So the leaves have veins, kind of like we have veins in our body to transfer blood to our heart and other important organs. Same thing for a strawberry plant. This is how they transfer energy from the sun as well as nutrients so the plant can continue to grow. And remember what we said, the leaves come out of the crown, okay? So there we have that there. A strawberry plant has many, many leaves. And there's one set. We're going to label it leaves. L-E-A-V-E-S, leaves. Next, we have something else really important that happens to our strawberry plant. So as our strawberry plant is growing and getting nutrients from the sun and from the soil, it begins to develop flowers. So you just don't plant a strawberry plant and think strawberries are going to grow. The first thing that grows are little buds. So here's our little buds. It's actually the beginning part of our flower. Next, a flower grows. It blossoms open. These flowers start out white, so we're just gonna outline them in yellow, but they're actually white. The inside of the flower is yellow. That's where the pollen is. Now, something super cool you need to know about strawberry flowers is bees come and pollinate the flowers, as well as butterflies. They come and transfer pollen from flower to flower, and that allows the flower to blossom into the growing strawberry. So we're going to write the word flower. F L O 
W-E-R. Now, inside this flower is something really important that's growing. It's going to be our little teeny tiny strawberry bud that's inside of that flower. Now, as the flowers begin to open up and blossom, guess what happens? The petals fall off and a strawberry begins to grow. Now, when a strawberry is first growing, it's green in color. Over time, the color brightens, it gets brighter and brighter and brighter, and eventually turns white. Well, that white strawberry then starts turning pink. And then from pink, it turns into a bright red. And when the strawberry is bright red, we know that the strawberry is ripe and it's time to pick it. Let's begin to draw our strawberries. Here's our strawberry here. There's one strawberry. There's two strawberries. And number three. We have three strawberries. Now, our strawberries are missing something very important. Let me tell you what that is. If you look really closely on the outside of a strawberry, you will see that it has lots of tiny little specks. Sometimes they look yellow and sometimes they look brown. Here, I'll show you by looking at one of our strawberries. Let's take a look at my strawberry here. Do you see those tiny little specks? Those are actually strawberry seeds. Did you know that that one seed will turn into a gigantic strawberry plant? Now, what color do you see my strawberry is? If you've guessed red, you're right. This strawberry was ripe when it was picked. It was ripened. It was already red and juicy. And there are the leaves. And right here, this little pokey thing here you see is part of the stem of the strawberry. Strawberries are red, sweet, and juicy. Well, I'll draw the seeds for you now. Just little dots. That's how we're gonna draw our strawberry seeds. Boop, 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 boop. A couple little dots there. That's our strawberries. Okay, now, something very important that you need to know about a strawberry plant. As it matures and as it grows bigger and bigger, it begins to develop what we call as shoots. So we need to write the word strawberry. So I'm going to write it right here. S T R A W B E R R Y. Strawberry. Okay. Now something else you need to know about a strawberry plant as it grows and as it, and as it matures, it begins to develop what we call runners. Now these runners are coming from the crown, they extend out, and guess what they're doing? These runners are actually making another strawberry plant. It also has leaves, just like our big strawberry plant does. And these runners develop roots that also begin to grow into the ground to anchor the plant deep into the soil. So, isn't that super cool that one strawberry plant can actually grow multiple strawberry plants? And, super fun fact, did you know that most of the strawberries that we eat are actually from runner plants? Sometimes they call it daughter plants too. So we're gonna call this here the runner. We're gonna label it now, R-U-N-N-E-R, -N -N -E runner. And this is a daughter plant. Let's label the parts of a strawberry plant. We have the roots, the crown, the runner, the leaves, the flowers, and the strawberries. And there you have it. 